Welcome to the BYU Hawaii Center for Learning and Teaching Two Minute Teaching Tips. Today, we're going to introduce you quickly to the BYU Hawaii Framework for Learning and Teaching, and then I'm going to give you one tip to help you apply that framework broadly as you transition to online learning. First, before we start with the framework, I just wanted to say that our purpose for these video productions is to help support you and your teaching as we transition. My three years in the center, I've learned that there are a lot of great teachers on campus and everyone has their own strengths. Um, and our goal is just to simply give you some ideas to help you build on those strengths. So here's the framework. Let me show you. The framework consists of three processes, prepare, engage, and improve. And typically students prepare before they come to class, they engage during class and improve means to improve how you learn. Um, more on that later in a different video. But combined with these three processes, there are seven characteristics inside these. Faithfully, hopefully, charitably, reflectively, diligently, honestly, and humbly. And these characteristics combine with each one of the processes to create a different experience for the students as they learn. So for example, a student could faithfully prepare for class each day, or they could diligently engage during class, or they could reflectively improve <coughs> during class. So this is the framework, and these are the three processes that we typically think about as we prepare lessons and, and work. Now, Here's my one tip to help you apply this framework broadly. This is our Center for Learning and Teaching webpage that we have to help give some tips and pitfalls for transitioning to online learning. And I'm gonna share with you the last one on this page. The last one says, make sure you add yourself to the course. Now my tip is that each one of us lives these characteristics that are part of the BYU Hawaii Framework for Learning and Teaching. Each one of these seven, they're in the middle here. Each faculty member strives to live these. And we have to be present for our students, even in an online environment. We have to find ways to communicate with them so that they get to know us and they see our lives. Because as they see our lives and how we live, that affects the way that they learn and they know that we care about them. So there are many ways that you could do that on Canvas. There are, um, you can send them messages on a regular basis. You can, you can create videos that you send to them. You can use Zoom to communicate with them live in a synchronous manner. You can use the conferences um, function. You can use the discussion board function. You can use responding on assignments through the speed grader. But no matter how you do it, just be sure that you are present online so that the students can see you, see who you are, your personality and your life. And that's important. And that's hard transition when we're moving from face to face where it's easy to connect with students in a personal basis to an online environment where I can feel a bit more distant. But students need to feel us and know who we are. So that's our two minute teaching tip for the day. Aloha and happy teaching.